step. $25,000 is yours. You know, I want to slow you down a second. I just want you to be very clear that while you breeze through these very difficult questions, be careful. Because while the shocking questions may be difficult to answer, your truth may be easier to find on them. It's the questions that you may have thought, oh, those aren't a big deal. Yeah. I've seen a million times that those are the ones that cost people money. You have $25,000. You only need four more truthful answers to get to the next level, which is $100,000. And I know that that's a significant amount of money. <laughs> but I always have to remind you this. As much as it would feel great to win $100,000, how would it feel to leave here knowing you had $25,000 and you walk out of here with zero? It would hurt. So, what do you want to do? $100,000, but you're going to get tired of me because I'm going to remind you every question how dangerous it oh, is to I'm continue. Need that. <laughs> okay? Are you good at keeping in touch with your friends? Pretty good, I'd say. You've got Louise and Brian here right now. Definitely. Brian's a former boyfriend, current friend. <laughs> yes. Digging it right up. <laughs> question 12. Have you shared intimate details about your sex life with Nick with a former boyfriend? Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> Nick, are you concerned about her answer on this one? I'm just not sure about that one. Well, you're gonna be sure in a minute, I guess. <laughs> Have you shared intimate details about your sex life with Nick with a former boyfriend? Yes. That answer is true. Yeah. Woo. That's 12 <laughs> truthful answers. Feels like more. <laughs> Who'd you share your intimate details with? Is that the former boyfriend you shared them with? It is Brian. Yes. <laughs> me off of the show. So she's, as a friend now, said, you know, my boyfriend Nick, this is what it's like when we're getting intimate. Not, Nick, not so much in those words. Nick, anything you want to ask Brian? No. Twelve truthful answers. If you stop now, you still have $25,000 and we all celebrate. Keep so. going. Okay. If you want to stop, say stop, and I won't ask the question. You hit the button if, in fact, you're worried about it. Does Nick spoil you? Not as much as he should. <laughs> question 13. Since you've been dating Nick, have you ever accepted a gift from a man you were attracted to? Truthful answer. If you stop now, you still have $25,000 and we all celebrate. Keep so. going. Okay. If you want to stop, say stop and I won't ask the question. You hit the button if, in fact, you're worried about it. Does Nick spoil you? Not as much as he should. <laughs> question 13. Since you've been dating Nick, have you ever accepted a gift from a man you were attracted to? Yes. That answer.
answer is... True. 13 truthful answers. Still two away from $100,000. What did this man give you? It was at my former job, and we got a lot of gifts as a waitress, because you have regular customers, yes. so. But here's the part about the question that would concern me and Nick, if you want to ask questions about it, you can. Have you ever accepted a gift from a man you were attracted to? He was cute. He, he was in the military, he was cute. He was he cute. He was cute. Stop me if you want to stop. Take that money to your children, your family. Go home and have 25 grand. Keep going. You gonna keep going? What's your favorite thing about your job? The fact that I'm not always in the office. I get to go out to different parts of Arizona and get to experience different Breaks things. it up a little bit. Yeah. Question 14. Have you ever done anything with a coworker that you know would be upsetting to your boyfriend, Nick? Stop me if you want to stop. Take that money to your children, your family. Go home and have 25 grand. Keep going. I keep going. You gonna keep going? What's your favorite thing about your job? The fact that I'm not always in the office. I get to go out to different parts of Arizona and. Get to experience different Breaks things. it up a little bit. Yeah. Question 14. Have you ever done anything with a coworker that you know would be upsetting to your boyfriend, Nick? <laughs> Need your answer. You have to be truthful to protect that $25,000. Yes. <laughs> that answer is... true. Okay. That's 14. Anything you want to say? No comment. <laughs> what kind of thing did you do with somebody at work that might upset your boyfriend, Nick? Made out with them. Huh? Said I made out with them. You made out with them. While dating me? <laughs> Let's give Nick a break. <laughs> you can handle you okay, me. Nick? Look, I realize that while this is a game, these questions are not. No, they're and not. And whatever you answer for your 25 grand, when this hour is over and we go back to our lives, you go back to your life where these answers and these questions will be with you for as long as you want to talk about it. That's why I keep trying to talk you out of continuing so that you take your money home and live a happy life and have some cash in the bank. <laughs> if you quit now, you have $25,000 and I don't ask this next question. I'm going to be just as frank with you as I can. This could be really easy for you. Some of the questions you've answered that are easy for you would be difficult. I don't ever want to talk about that kind of stuff. Ooh. I don't even want to ask this question. Get it? Ooh. And here's the thing that really kind of is tricky is when you look at that graphic over there, it looks so darn easy, doesn't it? Look, it's a tiny little question. $100,000. You blow it, you're going to feel terrible. I'm going to kick myself. <laughs> This question, if you get it right, you still may feel terrible. Should I go for it? Go for it. Go. Yeah. Should I? I should do it. I'll go for it. You're going to go for it. Yeah. <laughs> Kajet, are you pretty good about admitting when you've made a mistake? Yeah. 
I'm pretty blunt with that. <laughs> Had some practice in that area, have you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I hope this isn't a mistake. Oh, God, no. <laughs> Question 15 for $100,000. Have you ever regretted getting back together with your boyfriend, Nick? Let's see what she says. I need your answer. No. Okay. For one hundred thousand dollars, let's find out if that's the truth. That answer is. I'm so sorry, Congetta. That proved to be a false answer. You lose the $25,000. Why do you think this came up as a lie? I don't know. I don't know. You've never, ever, even for a, a split second or a minute, said, gosh, why did I get back together with this guy? I said it, but I never meant it. You said it, and that's enough. So I'm sorry, Kajeta. I hope you've enjoyed your time here. I've enjoyed chatting with you. You've got a beautiful family. I wish you the best with the daughter. Thank you very much. You can go over there and give Nick a hug if you'd like. Let's hear it for Kajeta Llewellyn. I had hoped she would have left with $25,000, quite honestly. And then I hoped she'd have won the $100,000, but it didn't work out that way. And that's what happened. It's all the time we have. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time right here on The Moment of Truth. Good night, folks. Coming up on the Moment of Truth, more contestants willing to say anything for a shot at $500,000. Wild party girl Leanne Petrosky will reveal shameful secrets to her family and friends. Have you ever fled the scene of a car accident that was your fault? It was when I was drinking a lot and partying. Have you ever felt that you deserve a boyfriend more attractive than Farzee? Have you ever cheated on your boyfriend, Farzee? Coming up on our summer season finale, it's the show everyone has been waiting for as real estate investor Annette Nelson wins more money than anyone in the history of the show. But in order to keep it, she'll be forced to relive the most painful moment of her life. Can you truly forgive the driver who nearly killed your son? Oh. Get ready for our most intense episode ever. There is someone backstage. He's the man who was driving the car that hit your son. With a confrontation so emotional and controversial, our lawyers didn't want you to see it. It's the shocking season finale 